Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Saratoga Racecourse here on Saturday. It is August the 1st, 2015. We're going to look at the stakes races. We have four of them on the program. Uh, before I get on to that, remember, please follow me on Twitter at 316 fix for more selections. So we're going to look at races 5, 8, 9, and 10. So let's go on to it. Today's fifth race is the 23rd running the Amsterdam Stakes. Grade 2, purse $200,000 for three-year-olds. We have a field of seven horses traveling six and one-half rounds. Really nice uh, sprint race. That gives me a second to stop speaking <clears throat> and clear my throat. Um, I'm going to go actually go with the six horse here, the Great War. Um, 10 to 1, Joel Rosario uh, for Wesley Ward. Last time out, uh, has run since February 28th at Toto Fork Park, mile 16th, and John Tagler Stakes. Uh, finished 10th by 30, won it in a quarter length. That horse bled that day. Uh, wasn't his, was probably the horse's worst run of his career. Um, he was just used up and bled. Throw that race out. Then Turfway Park, six and a half furlongs on January 31st and 96 Rock Stakes. One by seven and a quarter lengths. I was on poly track, if you remember. I drew off uh, clear that day to, and was running out. Um, and then the Breeders' Cup Juvenile San Anita last November the 1st. Finished fourth by eight and a quarter lengths. Uh, was closing well that day. Uh, but uh, there, if you remember that day... The uh, track wasn't really playing for closers. Um, don't know why, but it, it just really horses weren't getting that deep close. Um, I'm dirt for the second time today. Hopefully this horse can handle it. As working out at Keelan, five furlongs at Keelan and 102 flat. Best workout at two and a four furlong workout at Keelan, 49 and four, 21, 21st best out of 26. Um, so I'm gonna go with this one. So count my bets for race number five from Saratoga. It's the Amsterdam Stakes. Gonna go with the six. Well, let's head on to race number eight. The eighth race from Saratoga is the 31st running at the Alfred G. Vanderbilt Handicap at Grade 1. Per string, you're $50,000. It's for three-year-olds and upwards. We have a field of... Guess what? <laughs> field of seven horses traveling six furlongs. And another really good race. Uh, <clears throat> um, I'm going to go with the seven horse here. Um, Number seven, favorite tails at five to one. I ride Ortiz Jr. Last time out, they're in Goldstream Park, July the fifth, and a smile of sprint stakes. Great two event that day. One by four and a quarter lengths. Uh, he was setting the pace and just pulled away. Really nice uh, win that day in that grade two. Um, then at Belmont Park, six furlongs on June the fifth, and the True North Stakes. Uh, finished fifth by nine and a quarter lengths. Um, against a lot of horses. Uh, he stumbled at the start and was just weakening. I had a bad start. Okay, like I said, stumbled and was just weakening. If he maybe had a good start, maybe he could have finished better than fifth. I don't know. But it was, there was, that was a very tough field. And then at Mom at the Six Farms and May the 9th in a declaration handicap for 85 grand. Finished second by two and three quarter lengths. Uh, had sp uh, speed on the inside. It was just second best. Um, I, like I said, I really liked his horse. That last start was really incredible. Uh, has never won at Saratoga. So hopefully this horse could really do good. Uh, so we kept my bets for race number eight from Saratoga to Alfred Vanderbilt Handicap. Going to go with the seven. Now let's head on to race number nine. The ninth race from Saratoga is, let's get to the race right now. The ninth race is the 57th running of the Bowling Green Handicap. Grade two, purse $250,000. It's for thrills and upwards. We have a field of nine horses traveling a mile and three-eighths on the turf course. Um, this is the prep, I guess, for the Sword Dancer? Sword Dancer? What do you want to call it? Um, mile three-eighths. Uh, like I said, rail at nine feet. Um, gonna go with the three horse here. Number three, imagining at three to one. John Vlasquez for Shig McGahey for the Phillips Stable. Last time out, throw at Monmouth Park, Mile three eights, and Jolly fifth in the UN Stakes. Uh, finished fifth by three lengths. Um, he bumped up to start. Was, had a three wide trip. Um, it wasn't his best run. Got a hundred by speed figure, but then at Belmont Park, a mile three eights on May the 9th in Manowar Stakes. Finished fifth by six and three quarter lengths. Very good fifth place finish. Uh, Considering the field, it was he finished fifth out of six, but it was a very tough field. Um, he was Jocelyn just had no headway that day. Um, and then the Pan American Stakes at uh, Goldstream Park, March the twenty eighth, won by three quarters length. A very nice victory. Had a bit of three to pull and was just edging away. Um, at Saratoga, this horse is three and one. Last start at Saratoga was last year, August the seventeenth, in a mile and a half in the Sword Dancer Stakes. Finished second by a head behind main sequence. I uh, was on the inside and kept on going that day. Um, so, yeah, and uh, when this race is actually run at uh, Belmont Park, uh, during the fall of 2013, ran this race. It was running a mile and a quarter. I uh, won by half length. So, has won this race, but at a different venue. Um, 
Okay. So, like I said, I really like this horse here. Three to one. Had to work out Saratoga over the training turf. Four furlongs and 46 and three. Best workout, 37. So that was an incredible workout. That was uh, a, few, a few days ago. So we count my bets race number nine from Saratoga. It is the Bowling Green. Going to go with the three. Now let's head on to the feature race on the program. Race number 10 was the 52nd running of the Jim Dandy Stakes. Grade two per six hundred thousand dollars. It's for three year olds. We do have a field of seven horses, and a few horses are crossed entered in a lot of races. I can tell you this right now: the um, the four horse upstart is cross entered for the Haskell. Competitive Edge is entered for the Haskell. Tecton is entered for the West Virginia Derby. So we have three three horses entered cross entered. Um, so I don't know who's going to run, but you know, I think Upstart's probably going to run here. I'm on eighth to go. I think I'm not sure. Don't take my word on it. Um, I'm actually going to go a bit of a long shot here. I'm going to go one two. Number one for Menta. I've always been a fan of this horse. At 21, Nick Zito trained with Jose Lascano up. Last time out, thrown the Belmont Stakes a mile and a half on June 6th at Belmont Park. Finished fifth by 15 and a quarter lengths. Um, had a rail on and it was just second. Uh, Second up four wide and uh, Eddie up for stretch and he wasn't catching American Fair that day. Um, I think I had the source in the exotics, but um, didn't do anything. Then the church uh, church of the Islands mile quarter on uh, May second Kentucky Derby uh, finished eleventh by twelve lengths, running all the way from post position number eighteen. So I had a horrible trip. At, uh, with seven wide in the upper stretch, it got bumped all around. Just a very horrible trip. And then Keelan on the eighth on April the fourth in the Bluegrass Stakes finished fourth by seven and a quarter lengths. Um, it was off the route the quarter pole. It was just moving up that day. There's only one win, and that one win was um, last October the 4th at Keelan, a mile 16th in Main Special Weight, 56,000, one by half length. Uh, it was on the rail, drew off four wide into a clear victory. I'm going to go with this one. Um, I had a workout Saratoga, four front workout, 48 and one. The uh, best workout, 39 that day. I'm also going to go with the two horse Japan, a 10 to one, a very impressive horse. His last last two starts have been pretty impressive. Junior Alvarado up. Last time out at Belmont Park, mile 16th on June 6th in the Easy Goer Stakes for 125 grand against a field of three horses, one by one and a quarter lengths. That was a very very exciting race to watch. It was the opener on Belmont Stakes Day. Uh, he was drifting at the finish at the quarter pole, um, but I have to say the source very, like I said, very nice win. And an even more impressive one was his first, uh, his main win on April 30th, mile 16th at uh, Churchill. Won by seven lengths. Heavy, heavy favorite. Uh, he drew off and geared down to clear victory. Um, like I said, I really like this horse. 10 to 1. Hopefully this horse could really come in. I, like I said, I really, really like this horse. Um, workout July 27th at Saratoga. 4 for one workout. 48 flat. The second best out of 43. And a 5 for one workout on the train track at Belmont Park. 1 minute and 3. Best workout in 19 that day. So going to go with this one. So recap my best race from 10 from Saratoga. It's a Jim Dandy Stakes. Going to go with the 1-2 exact box. Good luck to all. I'm going to put number 2 on top, of course. Uh, so good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at 316 picks. Good luck, everybody.